Welcome to e-learning platform of Christ College. Today, we discuss about energy flow in an ecosystem. Ecosystem is defined as a community of plant, animal and smaller organism that live, feed, reproduce and interact in the same area or environment. That is called ecosystem. Simply, ecosystem is the basic functional unit of ecology. The term ecology or ecosystem is coincide from a Greek word meaning study of home. Otherwise, it is study of an organism, its, its own environment. Ecology is the study of interaction among organism, group of organism with their environment. The environment consists of both biotic and abiotic component. Biotic means we already discussed in the previous class. That is a living organism and abiotic is the non-living organism. Ecology is the study of ecosystem. Next, we discuss about energy flow in an ecosystem. In the previous class, we discuss about food chain, food web and tropical level. In this class, we discuss about energy flow. Energy flow is a transfer of energy from one organism to another in an ecosystem. That is a transfer of energy from one organism in an ecosystem to another is simply known as energy flow. Every organism interact with its ecosystem in two ways. First one, the organism obtain food energy from the ecosystem and the second is the organism contribute energy to the ecosystem. There are mainly three pathways in energy flow. That is from uh, pathways or path in energy flow. First one is producers, then consumers and decomposers. First we discuss about what is producers. The main role of producer is to capture the energy from the sun and convert into food. Mainly producer means that is a capture of solar energy and produce energy by a process is known as photosynthesis. Plant, algae and some bacteria are producers. Uh, using a process called photosynthesis, produce use the sun energy to turn water and carbon dioxide into food energy. During the photosynthesis, carbon dioxide water and sun solar energy is used to produce food. Producers are autotrophs or self-feeding organisms. Producers are the original source of all food within an ecosystem. That means producers supply primary source of energy. Sun is the source of energy that producer used to create energy. But in few rare cases, such as ecosystem found in rock deep beneath the ground, bacterial producer can be can use the energy found in the gas called hydrogen sulfide that is found within the environment to create food, even in the absence of sunlight. That is called that type of organism is mainly known as chemoautotrophs. Next group of organism is the consumers. Most organisms in an ecosystem cannot make their, make their own food. They depend upon other organisms to meet the food needs. They are called consumers. Otherwise, it is an organism that consume another organism for their daily life or for the production of energy is known as consumers. Consumers can be broken down into three classification that is consumers are classified into mainly three groups that is called herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores are consumers that eat plant. Uh, example we already discussed in the previous classes. Carnivores they are consumers only eat other animal and omnivores. 
they are consumers that eat both plant and animals. That example is human beings. Next group of organisms are the decomposers. Decomposers are the organism that break down and feed off of the waste and dead organism within an ecosystem is known as decomposers. Decomposers are natural's built-in recycling system. By breaking down material from dead trees and animal, decompose, retain nutrient to the soil and create another food source for herbivores, omnivores within the ecosystem. The main examples for decomposers are the mushrooms, bacteria, etc. Then next is how does energy flow through the ecosystem? The answer is that it's through food chain and food web. We discussed earlier uh, what is a food chain and food web. Thank you.